Kite and Rising Stars. It's me, Miss Tho, and Birdie is here representing Angel Elementary here in go Berkeley. Angel go Angelfish and go Kite and Rising Stars. We are so happy to see you here today. It is Tuesday. Can you believe it? It's already Tuesday, Birdie. No. <laughs> she says, no, she can't believe it. Let's take a look at the calendar. Yesterday was Monday, April 13th. Today is Tuesday. We're going to have to change our calendar. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Time is going quickly. It's going quickly. Tomorrow will be hump day. Crazy. What? Tomorrow's hump day? Oh yeah, tomorrow's hump day. Tomorrow's hump day. Um, we um, are going to sing the hand washing song. Um, and my finger still hurts. So we're going to sing the one that I don't have to play the ukulele on. So get ready for those hand motions. Ready? Tops and bottoms. Tops and bottoms. In between. In between, rub them both together, scrub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. Remember, we need to keep our hands extra clean. No touching our face, no putting our hands in our mouth. We want to stay clean and healthy. You might want to wash your hands more than you normally do to make sure that you're staying healthy. And maybe you can remind the grown-ups that you live with too to wash their hands and keep them safe and healthy too. That sounds like an excellent idea. I have the question of the day today because Birdie is gonna do the read aloud for us. So here is the question. Do you like cereal? Yes or no? What do you think? Do you like cereal? Birdie, do you like cereal? Um, like the frogs one, kind of. Um, I don't really eat it all the time, but I, I, I like it still. Okay. So I'm going to say yes. So Birdie says yes, she likes cereal. I'm going to say no, I don't like cereal that much. I'll eat it, but I don't like it. Unless you count, do you count oatmeal as cereal? Oh, if you count oatmeal as cereal, then yes, I like oatmeal a lot. But I really, if you had just like a cereal with milk, it's not my favorite. I don't like it so much. Um, we read a book about planting a rainbow yesterday. And Birdie has a book with all sorts of colors in it that she's going to read today that she thought would be a good book. But there's also counting. So it's a good book to think about. Birdie, when you've gone around our neighborhood, have you seen lots of colors? Have you seen people putting rainbows in their windows and things? Yeah, when we go for a walk, when we take our dog for a walk, we look for rainbows too. Maybe if you're outside in your neighborhood, there might be some people putting some extra nice signs in windows. I don't know. That's something you can look for. People are trying to be extra kind and help cheer each other up because it's hard being stuck in the house all the time, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I don't like it so much. So let's take a look at Birdie's book. I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see. You saw my big Band-Aid there. Let's see if we can see Birdie a little bit closer here. I'm going to angle the camera so we can just see the computer. And hopefully, you'll get to see the pictures in her book quite nicely. All right, Bird, what are you reading for us today? Today is going to be 10 Little Ladies. Oh, who's so the it's author? It's kind of like a counting book, too, but it's, it's a very colorful. I love that. Who's the author of Ten Little Ladybugs? Um, it's by Moline Burke. Um, and then it's illustrated by Laura Holiska Beth. All right. Okay. Ten Little Ladybugs. Ten Little Ladybugs. Sitting on a vine, along came a butterfly. Then there were nine. Yep, nine. Can we 
count to 10, Bertie? Let's count really slowly with people so they can count at home. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good job so, counting with us. Ten, ten subtracting one. 10 subtracting 1. Sometimes we say take away. Sometimes we say minus. Sometimes we say subtract. So we've got 9 little ladybugs. 9 little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar. Then there were... Oh, 9 take away 1 is... Hmm, what comes before 9? Eight. Eight. Eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird. Then there were seven. Oops. <gasps> oh, she gave us away the answer. What comes before eight? Seven. seven. We're counting backwards in this book. This is a tricky one. Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper, and then there were... Let's count up to seven on this one. Let's count together nice and slow. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six, seven. And what was that number that came just before seven? It was six. Then there were six. Six little ladybugs. Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a, bum a bumblebee. Then there were five. One, two, five. three, four, five. Four minus one is three. Three. Three little ladybugs drip, drinking up dew. Along came a duck, and there were. Hmm. What comes before three? Two. Two. Two little ladybugs. Basking. Basking in the sun. Along came a. Frog. Then there were one. One. One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze. Then she was home. Home. Nice. Can we count from 1 to 10, and then we'll count backwards from 10 down to 1. Can we do that together? Let's do that nice and slowly, shall we? Let's see if you can count with us. I'm going to count in sign language and use my words. Birdie is going to count using her fingers the way she knows how. You join us and count just the way that you can, all right? Let's do it nice and slow. One, One two, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, you guys. Let's count backwards from ten. This one's trickier. Let's see if you can do it with us. Think about what comes before ten. Start with ten. Then we go to nine. nine. Before nine is eight. eight. 
Before eight is seven. seven. Before seven is six. six. Before six is five. five. Before five is four. four. Before four is three. three. Before three is two. two. Before two is one. one. Good job. Okay. Before we go on, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is also kind of a rhyming book. Oh, because tell us about rhymes, Birdie. As you can see, when it says, ten little ladybugs sitting on a vine, what is vine rhyme with? It rhymes with a... Oh, it rhymes with nine. Yeah, so the end, when when we think about rhyming words, it's the end part of the word that sounds the same. So vine and nine rhymes together. So even if you weren't a good counter, but you were listening to the words, you might be able to come up with a number that came before it. Gate, eight. Gate rhymes with eight, even though they're spelled differently, they sound the same. Heaven. Heaven and seven. Sticks. Six. Stick six. Hive and five. Chore. Four. Tree. Three. Do. Two. And then, at, although this one is spelled differently, this one is... D E W. It doesn't have the same ending as two T W O. It just sounds the same. It sounds the same, and that's the important thing with rhyme. It doesn't have to be spelled the same. It just has to sound the same. Do and, and then two. Sun. Same thing. Two. Sun. One. They're spelled differently. Yep. Sun is S U N, and one is O N E. So they do, they do get a little bit different spelling, but that end of the word sounds the same, and that's what makes it rhyme. If you listen to music that rhymes, a lot of music will rhyme. They have things that rhyme together in hip-hop songs they rhyme, in pop songs they rhyme. Sometimes they don't, they don't sound exactly alike, but they sound close enough that it helps, you, helps us remember the words to the songs, too. Speaking of songs, um, oh, we forgot jokes. Uh, do you have two jokes for us, Birdie? Yes. All this right. This is an Easter one. All right. When did Easter come before Valentine's Day? When did Easter come before Valentine's Day? Birdie, that can't happen because Valentine's Day is in February, and we know Easter is usually in April. We just had Easter on Sunday. So I don't think it can ever come before him. In the dictionary. Oh, because Easter starts with an E and Valentine's Day starts with a V. So if we did our alphabet, we would know that E comes before V. That's clever. And then we have, this is a, I don't know. So this is like a two-person view. This is Art saying it. What, what does your father do for a living? This is Andy. He's a magician. Does tricks. He does tricks like sawing people in half. Art. Oh, do you have any siblings? Yes. Er. Oh, yeah. Yes, a half sister and a half brother. <laughs> because did they get sawed in half? <laughs> Funny. I hope he didn't really saw his kids in half. That would be no good. I was telling Birdie, I was feeling kind of crabby the other day, and so was Joni. We were crabby at our house, and we need to remember to be kind with one another. So let's sing the Be Kind song. If you're kind and you know what, share your toys. If you're kind and you know what, share your toys. If you're kind and you know what, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know what, share your toys. If you're kind and you know what, be polite. If you're kind and you know what, be polite. If you're
you're kind and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know it, be polite. If you're kind and you know it, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know it, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're kind and you know it, say I'm sorry. If you're kind and you know it, lend a hand. If you're kind and you know it, lend a hand. And if you're kind and you know it, you'll be kind about my ukulele playing because of my hurt finger. Man, that was not the best. But please wash your hands. Please eat something healthy. And please be kind today, kind rising stars. I'm counting on you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.